Good evening, everyone. What's up? Welcome to another Banter Blitz. Uh, I've done one yesterday and already back at it uh, tonight. Good to see you guys. A late stream, 8 p.m. Eastern time. I'm sorry for the fellow people in Europe, but hey, uh, I had a very, very busy day today, so I just uh, gave lessons practically all day. So I'm here to challenge Al, the premium member, and uh, hello to Jester in the chat, Koopy Identity. Good to uh, good to see you guys. Um, let's go ahead and face Mr. Identity, who challenged first. So good luck to you, sir. Hope uh, everyone is doing okay. Let's warm up with uh, Night of Three. Let's warm up with a very safe choice here, knight f3. Knight c6, hmm, interesting already. Let's uh, play c4. And maybe we will have um, reverse Sicilian, yeah. I'll play uh, d3 over here and just play g3 next. Cheers to everyone drinking a coffee here to uh, try to stay awake on this uh, Tuesday evening. It's uh, pretty cold here in Montreal. Not gonna lie, winter is really coming. So reverse dragon, uh, he's gonna take with the knight, most likely. I'm just gonna go ahead and play bishop g2 and castle. And um, here, I think everything is good. It's an opening that I pretty much mastered with, uh, with black. So I'm very comfortable playing this as white. Bishop e3 coming, rook c1, probably knight e4. Uh, bishop g4, kind of weird. I'll just go here. I don't mind him trading. I'll just go rook c1. Typical plan is to uh, try to put a knight on uh, c5. I can also go for ideas like um, a3 and b4. Let's see what um, what he has in mind here. Um, but I'm not too worried. I don't like... Um, I'm not too worried about uh, the way he plays his pieces. Knight on f6 looks a little bit passive. Bishop on d6 is kind of blocking uh, his own queen. Uh, am I worried about e4 here? Not really. Uh, I could go, I could get knight d2, that's an idea. Or I could just go a3. I'll go a3 and try to push uh, b4. See what he does. Is he going to go for a5 to try to block me? Um, maybe in this case I got knight b5, maybe knight a4. Queen a5 also possible. A lot of possibilities here. I could play knight d2. Uh, okay, a5, now I think this square is very comfortable for uh, for my knight. So knight b5 over here. And now the idea is that once he commits to play a5, it's harder for him to attack my knight. So now he, okay, rook here, I think I'm going to take this. And then I could um, maybe play queen a4 next, just to block this. Uh, queen a4 is possible, queen b3 is possible. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play uh, queen a4 over here and uh, let's see what uh, let's see what he's got. Uh, after queen a4, uh, this bishop is not hanging, but um, he has to be careful. I could play rook c2, double rooks, a lot of options here. So, so far so good. He's uh, taking a lot of time and I have a feeling I have played him already. Yeah, I've played him once only. So d5. Now, is he trying to push d4? Maybe. Is he trying to push e4? That's also possible. Um, so I'm going to play rook d1 just to discourage a move like e4. I'm putting the rook on the same file as the queen. So d4 played. I'm going to go ahead and play bishop g5. And then... Um, since my pawn has not moved from b2, he can he cannot play knight d5 and knight, knight c3. This square is well guarded by my pawn. I, I have some ideas to play rook c5 and rook dc1. Uh, this is possible. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give up my bishop versus a knight just to gain some, uh, some time here. Uh, he might take with a queen or the rook. He takes with the queen. Am I worried about e4? Not really. I'm going to go ahead and play queen b5 just to pressure uh, the pawn here. And I have to um, I have to be careful about moves like e4 here. e4 takes okay he takes like this I'm gonna take like that. Now e4 is no longer possible, and I have a lot of pressure on c6. I'm not sure uh, I agree with his last move. 
I feel that exchanging was not best for him. Um, now I've, I've got a lot of pressure. I'm still threatening to, uh, to take B7. He has to play a move like Rook E7 or Rook B8. But uh, Rook E7, I think I win this. Rook B8, uh, I could maybe win a pawn here. But Rook B8, I might just increase the pressure. If he goes here, I think I'm just gonna just gonna take the extra pawn here. I'm gonna take everything. That should be good for me. So take over here. Queen takes. Still up a pawn. Got to be careful about uh, about this pawn here. But if he goes rook b8, I think I'm just gonna go and play rook d2, followed by rook c2, making sure I control the whole c file, which is the only open file in the position. And now he's just dropping a rook. That's unfortunate, but uh, identity well played until a certain point. I think uh, when you gave up your bishop versus a knight, that was not too good. But other than that, I think you played uh, you played a pretty good game. Omit Malek, good to see you in the chat. Good to see you, Omid. Uh, Jestor GIS wants to play. Let's do it. Oh, I got a really, really strong challenge after this. Not saying uh, that uh, Jester is not a good challenge. Let's not look past him, but uh, I think I have a good challenge afterwards. All right, uh, let's play Bishop G7. Oh, he goes like this. Okay, let's go here. Uh, let's go here and D5. So I'm going to try to play against the... Um, isolated pawn here. The idea is that whatever it takes, I'm going to take like this. P. Vergara, what's up? Wow, your girlfriend didn't break up with you. Wow, she is definitely a keeper. If she allows you to watch Le Fong on a Monday night or Friday night uh, without any consequences, that's pretty good. I feel like taking here. Not sure what I want to do. Uh, do I want to go here and take take here? I'm going to go ahead and play bishop e6, maybe rook c8. Let's see what he wants here. Um, just going to play fast here. Okay, queen here. Um, let's say a6. Okay, rook here. Uh, okay, let's play b5. I'm pretty solid here. Can I play knight a5? I guess so. If he takes, I'm going to take back. Knight is defending by defended by the, the queen. Oh no, did I drop a piece? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Usually I do this in the first game. What is wrong with me? Okay, I'm gonna have to play fast here. Oh my god. Drop the piece. Talking about P. Vergara's girlfriend and I drop a piece. Oh my god. Okay, let's go here. Oh man, that's so bad. And you know what's the worst part? I played I played knight a5 and I was uh, <laughs> explaining to the crowd that my knight was defended when in fact it was not defended at all. Okay, how am I gonna how am I gonna swindle this position? Uh, I think it takes a miracle to swindle this position. So let's go here. If he plays knight e5, he's dropping this. Oh man. I, I might I might lose this game. Okay, over here. Don't be sorry, Peter Vergara. I know that uh, you are, you're all rooting against me. It's fine. I uh, accept that. Everyone wants me to lose. Uh, so I'm going to play Bishop H6. And I don't know, man. I, I got to play so quickly here. Uh, let's go here. Um, let's go back here. Just play defensive. And just uh, limit his counterplay. Uh, okay, let's go here. If he goes queen here, I can take with the I can take the knight maybe. Okay, now I have to I have to go for this. Take here. I got the pawn. If he plays bishop g2, I got another pawn. I'm trying to uh, trying to make a comeback here. Not very confident, but this is already two pawns for the piece. So I got two pawns for the piece, and he's trying to mate me. Okay, so queen here, threatening to go queen d5, I guess. Okay, let's go here. He might go queen check, bishop here. 
queen here. Oh my god, this is bad. This is pretty bad. Am I getting mated here? Um, okay, let's go here. Let's go here. You'll check me. I'll go here. Okay, let's go here. Am I getting mated here? Oh my god, this is a disaster. No! Minus 29. Oh my god, this is terrible, guys. Look at this. Look at this passer move here. A real passer move. So here, after a3, I play here. A very, very good move. And then, and then, all I'm thinking about is to play knight b3. And I tell the crowd, hey guys, look at my knight. Completely defended. No problem. Look at this. And then, boom. I think I am never going to be 3,000, guys. That was so terrible. Okay, you know what? Okay, P. Vergara, let me have a piece of you. Uh, GG, Jester. Listen, I uh, dropped dropped a piece there. Uh, not much to say about this uh, very poor play. Okay, so I already dropped a game today. And uh, hopefully it's going to be uh, the last one. But by the way I have been playing, I guess not. Uh, okay, so c3, I'm going to go here. Queen c2, queen c2, queen c2. What is this? Okay, I'm just going to go here. Uh, d4 take, okay, bishop here, knight c6, he plays very fast. Okay, let's go here, threatening knight b4, hopes he doesn't see it, okay, he sees it. So bishop g4, rook c8, I'm just trying to uh, play quickly here. Um, okay, a6, b5, don't fall for the same tactic twice. So here my knight is not... It's doing okay here. Do I have b5? b5, take, take, six. No, e5. Maybe e5. Okay, let's play e5. d5, I'm going to go here. And I have some ideas to uh, to take and play a4, maybe. We'll see. Let's see. Oh, Omed is under the weather. Oh, no. Got to play soccer tonight. So, Omed, no time for me today. No time for me. Uh, do I have... Can I take f5, e4? I really want to do some damage here, although it doesn't work. Okay, let's just uh, play knight h5. Maybe takes a knight f4. If he plays h3, I'm going to take a knight f4. Okay, rook here. Um, let's just chill and play here. Okay, now I'm, I'm taking this. And I think knight f4 is pretty good here. I'm threatening a lot of things. Takes, takes. Now the bishop is very active. I just have to make sure that the knight is not getting there. And then I can plan to maybe put a knight here. So maybe a move like h6, g5, knight g6, knight e5 could be a good idea. No chess today, says Mr. Omid. Okay, now he wants he wants to control this. So you know what? Uh, I'll play h6. Play g5. Let him take. Take here. Now, is he going to go for the queen trade? Queen c2, can I take this? Take this. I really don't want to draw. Not in the mood for a draw, but at the same time, what do you want me to do? Um, okay, I'm going to take here. I'm going to go here. So my idea is to block to block a4 here. So if you could play as a4, I'm gonna play bishop c3. And I think this wins a pawn over here. Um, because I have knight a7 if he plays bishop d3. So that was a point to play knight c8. Hi, Mr. Du. Good to see you. Oh, he wants to play here. Interesting. Okay, let's just go here. Now I'm going to take here. I think bishop d3 was necessary. Uh, and now I'm going to have to play bishop c5, threatening this. Now he's going to have to go back. Okay, now let's play f6 just to solidify so he doesn't have e5. And I'm going to try to, uh, to bring my king in the next moves.
It's written that I disconnected, guys. Um, can you make sure that I didn't disconnect? Make sure I didn't disconnect. Connect here. Okay. Um, let's just bring this here. Okay. If he wants to trade, it's really good. Knight versus bishop should be good. He goes here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Okay. King here. Now everything is safe. Now I have to find a path for my knight. Okay. I am definitely going to take this. And then can I play b4? I guess so. I go here. And then I go here, here, and then I go here and check. And then I can play b3. Oh, this is a free bishop. Unfortunately, GG, uh, P. Vergara. It was a really good game. Probably a draw. Probably a draw. But um, time pressure, time pressure. The technique says Z Nation. Okay. Uh, Carlos wants to play 2600 so this is a good uh, a good challenge for me have I played this guy before yes I have played him once okay let's see let's see what happens okay d4 I'm gonna play a real opening against him because it looks like he's a very good player Peter Vergara says internet I hate you <laughs> mm. Grunfeld have we played this before have we played this before? So I'm going to play the line with knight f3 and um, rook b1. So main ideas here are um, to play knight c6, b6. Okay, takes, takes, queen a5, check is theory. I'm going to go ahead and castle. Bishop g4. And then I play bishop g5. This is the main line. I'm not sure what to do if you play something else. Haven't studied this line in a while. Bozo the Clown, what's up? Bishop here, we're going to go bishop here. h6, bishop a3 is the main line. But I know bishop h4 is also playable. I might just play um, bishop h4. So he doesn't know theory. Just to uh, sidestep the main line. Um, so let's see what he does here. If he plays knight c6, I think I got d5. This is what I remember. Nightcast, good to see you. Hope you guys are, are doing well. Friendly remember for everyone who is uh, watching from YouTube. I invite you to come to Chess24 or Twitch. Join the party and chat with me. Because uh, once again, I don't monitor the chat on YouTube. So if you want to talk to me, you got to do it over here. Okay, knight here. Now, what's the deal here? Can I play h3? I feel that I can. So the idea is that I got the bishop here and ready to push d5. Unless he can win my pawn. But I already, uh, already got my pawn back. So as a reminder, I uh, gave up this pawn over here earlier. But now I already got b7 back. So I guess this is playable. d5. <coughs> take, take. Knight here. Now he wants to take this and take that. So do I have d6? Not really. Uh, what are my options here? I don't want this to uh, fizzle into a draw. But uh, I don't see uh, what else to do. Um, d6, yeah, maybe d6. So the idea of d6 is that if he takes, takes, rook takes, I got rook takes f7, which is an um, interesting idea. Um, I think I have no choice. So let's uh, take this pawn. Queen takes, queen takes a check. And I don't know if my pressure on uh, a7 is enough. I'm definitely banking on the fact that I have more time. And uh, most most end games here, I, I can still pressure up the pawn. So bishop, okay, he goes here. Now I can take here, I guess. Like I said, most of those end games are drawn, but uh, I'm going to make him work for the draw. So 
it's going to be a very long and painful endgame for him. Uh, so already g5, I'm not sure about that move. So I'm going to go here. Um, let's play g3 and king g2, just to be safe. Okay, now let's uh, play rook b5, just to be annoying. Okay, rook here, rook b6. Okay, now do I have h4? Or can I just play here? I guess I can play here. Activate my king. It's not an easy endgame for him. Um, let's go king e2. Okay, now let's play uh, rook a6. So I'm not doing much here. I'm just uh, slowly improving my position. Or should I say slowly securing my flag? Up to you guys to decide what I'm doing. So let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. So I'm just uh, slowly grinding this position. Is this bishop endgame winning? I might have some chances here. Uh, okay, let's play h4. Bishop here. Bishop here. Let's go here. I wonder if I have uh, any chance of winning here. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm going to have to think about it here. Uh, okay, how do I make progress? So I go here. Okay, I have to think of a way. If I move king f1, he's going to move king f3. That's a problem. Uh, and the problem, oh, here, okay, I gain control of the diagonal, which is not much. And I'm going to move king f1 at some point. Okay, let's go here. And let's go here. And now, do I have anything? Let's go here. He takes here, let's go here. He takes here, and this is a draw. Okay, well played, sir. Check. Uh, wait, how do I make a draw here? Just want to make sure. Let's go here. And now he is the one who's playing for a win. Uh, I can check here. Go here. He's going to play here. And if he wants a draw, let's do a draw. Minus 11. Oh my god. It really hurts to be 3,000. Or should I say 2,950. Uh, you play against a really decent player like a 2,600. You draw and you lose 11 points. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, next game, uh, let's go to Crazy Mike. Crazy Mike. Yes, I can accept. Yes, Chess24 users beating up on LaFong. It's, uh, it's a tough crowd. It's a tough crowd. I used to be almost 3,000, and now I'm losing everything. Okay, here I'm going to go C5. I'm going to go c5 and just try to uh, destroy this uh, pawn structure. Yeah, instructive game, Zination. I agree. Um, I don't know if I missed something. I'm not super happy about the game. I feel that I definitely missed something, but I don't know what. I'm going to have to analyze it. Um, so now, oh, he's, he's playing like this. This is kind of risky. Okay, uh, now just play knight h6, I guess. Can just play knight h6 and see what he does. I'm just gonna get very quickly to uh, safety. Omed is uh, not showing any love here. He's calling my rating inflated. Omed not being nice to me. Knight f5. Well, Omed, if you want to challenge with your inflated rating, I'll, I'll take all your rating points, Omed. If uh, that's what you want, 
Uh, okay, h5. I'm just going to prevent g4 over here. Bozo the Clown is asking me, when is the last time you lafong your opponent? Oh, it happened on stream. Not that long ago, actually. Um, not necessarily lafong, but, you know, a dirty pre-move in the opening. I definitely did that uh, not too long ago. So let's go bishop b7 and rook c8 and try to attack him on this side. If he goes h3, I can go h4. Uh, okay, I'm not too worried about that, so let's go here. Uh, b4. If he goes knight a4, I got at least queen a5. Something he has to think about. Okay, queen a5, b3, pretty much forced. And now tactics should be flowing after takes. If he takes with a d pawn, I got rook fd8. If he takes with the knight, I got at least rook fd8 attacking this pawn over here. Burns says, okay, a little late, but I'm here. You can start now, Lafong. Start to what? Start to lose or start to win? I'm not too sure. What are you asking me? So far, it's not been a very good stream. I think I, think I lost one and I, and I drew one. Oh, 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 oh. Is this a free? Yeah, I think, I think my opponent is really nice to me over here. Chessman, 1963, asked me, do I play over the board chess? You got to define over the board. Classical, it's been a while. I often play Blitz casually. So I would I would like to, uh, to think that I'm stronger uh, over the board than online. I wouldn't say that online is my uh, best time control. Can I take with the queen here? Takes, takes, knight b6, queen e4 check, and just get away. Uh, knight here. Knight here, I think I have something nasty coming for him. So what if I take this first? And then can I can I do that? Can I take this guy? It's something really nasty. So the idea is that if he goes here, well, if he goes here, he's like completely pinned. So I can just play here. Omid says Lafong is stronger over the board confirmed. As his friend, I can say that with certainty. Well, thanks, Omid. Thanks for uh, those nice and kind words. Takes, takes. Oh, I cannot take this. Uh, okay, let's just uh, go anywhere. And maybe double the rooks here or here. Queen c5 looks good. f6. Uh, I guess I can take this safely and checkmate. Thanks for uh, playing, Mr. Crazy Mike. Uh, Z Nation, let's do it. No, Bozo, we live very far apart, Omid and I. Omid lives in uh, Calgary, if I'm not mistaken. And I live in Montreal. But... Um, I think Omid grew up in Montreal, or at least spent a lot of years in Montreal. Knight f3, uh, bishop d3. Okay, I think I'm going to go a6 first, and I know I have to go bishop g4. So the knight cannot go to c4. Now the question is, how do I play next? I think knight here makes sense, and queen here makes sense, and I want to play knight e5. Bozo asked, how is Margot? Not worried about me, only, only worried about her. <laughs> Mr. Bozo. Uh, I think I can take this and go knight b7 and recycle the other knight to e5. Uh, and then a5, maybe rook a b8. Knight e5 on top. Now that his rook is here, it's harder to play f4, although he might still do it. Um, Okay, let's play rook c8, maybe with c4 and knight c5 ideas. Let's see what he does here. Aha, confirmed by Omid. Spent most of his life in Montreal and moved to Calgary in 2014. Omid, be, be honest with the crowd. Do you prefer Montreal or, or Calgary? Be honest with the crowd. 
Which city is uh, cooler? Omid never played me as a kid, unfortunately. Well, when you were a kid, I was no longer a kid, <laughs> Mr. Omid. Okay, so what's next here? Queen here. This is kind of suspicious, though. It's really suspicious. Um, so first of all, can I go knight e5, f4, knight c4? Or is he going to welcome me with uh, queen d3? Or I could also go bishop e5, f4, bishop d4, check. But I like this one. I, I think uh, this should be good, knight c4. And... Um, I don't know here if I have uh, knight takes b2, queen c2. Does my knight get out here? Really? Oh, I didn't know that, Omid. I thought you were. Uh, I thought you were much younger. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if I offended you. Okay, now can I go b5? Or bishop d4 check. Got a lot of ideas. Um. He wants to go b3 next. They play just rook e8. I guess I can play rook e8 just uh, to be safe and not allow him to push e5. Queen here. Queen here, I guess I can just chill and play knight a5. And I can also always come back. I'll actually, knight here makes sense. I can go knight b3 in here. Whoa, he's really coming at me. Uh, can I play c4? I'm going to take first. Uh, I'm going to play c4 now. Okay, those two pawns need to be uh, taken care of. I can't allow those, uh, those two pawns in my territory like this. So let's see what he does here. Um, so I got three attackers, two defenders, but still not enough to win those pawns. d6 is the, uh, obviously uh, the threat here. Um, so if I check... This should make sense with uh, maybe knight b3, ideas of uh, playing knight d2. d6, got to be careful about that. Okay, here, do I have knight d4? Or do I have uh, rook d8 or knight d4? Well, I don't know what to do. Let's play here. If he plays d6, I might be able to take this. <laughs> Good one, Bozo. I <laughs> like your uh, like your jokes. <laughs> D6. Okay, can I take this? Takes rook d5. That's annoying. Can I play knight d4? Knight d4, queen takes here, annoying. B5. Knight d5. But I got no choice. So let's do it. It's not my best game. Knight d5 is kind of strong for him. Okay, knight d5, uh, he got, he's got a check here, he's got a check here. Um, okay, let's go here. Yeah, it's starting to uh, get a little bit annoying. It's, uh, it's definitely a very good game by my opponent so far. Queen here, can I take this? Or can I play knight c6? Knight c6 makes sense. Oh, knight c6, bishop g1. This is nasty. This is really nasty. Um, okay, so knight f5. So he doesn't have knight f6. Bishop g1, knight g3 check. This is nasty for him. Uh, what's up, uh, make basketball? P. Vergara, why the magnet? It's a foosball reference, guys. Foosball reference. The ball would stick to my uh, to my guys like a magnet. They call me the magnet in foosball. Is he is he trolling me? Can I take this? I guess so. I guess so. Uh, so this is a first mistake by my opponent, who almost played a flawless game so far. But uh, it's still a very tough game for me because he has a lot of potential. Um, can I go here?
Can I go knight f5 and takes here? Is it too creative? Can I go knight here? Uh, wait a sec. What's going on here? Can I take this? Can I play knight c8? A lot of options. Okay, let's play knight f5. The point is to threat to take here. So if he takes, I take here. And I think I'm safe. I just uh, try to um, liquidate here. Lafon, did you see Naka get tortured today? No, I, I, I only saw the replay really quickly. Not Nothing uh, in depth. But I saw that he lost, unfortunately. I'm a big fan of Naka. F6, uh, F6, F6. Okay, I guess I can just play here. I should be safe here. I should be safe. I'm uh, up a minute. Just gotta, gotta be careful about this here. Uh, can I play rook d4? Followed by something like queen d5, just to secure the square. This is the square I'm worried about. I just have to make sure that uh, he cannot target this in any way. I have to make sure that this pawn will always stay here. So I think it is a good time to trade queens. e6, I can always take it. Otherwise, I think uh, I have good control over this. So he wants to push e6 here. Should I play just uh, rook e6? Rook e6. Oh, I'm not sure I want to do this. Or I let him play e6. I take and I force him to take with a rook or something like this. I think that makes sense. So let's go here. Okay, now what does he want? He wants to play e6, so just uh, rook e2, controlling the e pawn. He takes like this. Uh, let's take here. Let's go here. Not allow any sort of counterplay. Okay, let's trade this. And this should be an easy one. I go here, rook behind the pawn, and then just push, 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 push. And this is game over. GG, Mr. Z Nation. Nice playing with you. Wow, that was tough. That was tough. Maybe my first good game uh, today. Um, maybe my first good game today. He told, yeah, you totally had something, Z Nation. Um, I don't know at which point though, but I definitely feel that here, this is your game. Did you consider check here? Um, I was wondering if check was good for you. So now I have a very unpleasant choice. Do I want to take it or not? So if I don't take it, I play here. He can maybe play a move like uh, queen f2, which is really annoying because I have to defend both my rook and my knight. Okay, actually, uh, I'm lost here because I have to take. You take with check and probably like bishop f4, bishop h6. So maybe I have to take here, but now you can take here. And um, it's going to be very painful to survive this. I can put my knight here, try to cover g7. So even though you got bishop h6, you got no direct mate. But I feel that your pawns here is super strong. Um, yeah. No, it was a really, really a good game, uh, Z Nation. Um, Burns said, sweet, I love foosball. One goalie or three? I prefer three. So Burns, uh, you're probably American. Uh, no, you're from the UK. Uh, so Americans play on the table card Tornado. And um, it's a table which is black and yellow. And they have three goalies. Um, I know how to play Tornado, but I specialize in Gerlando. Gerlando is an Italian table that we have here in uh, Montreal, Quebec, even Canada. And in France, they have Banzini. Uh, so it's three completely different kind of tables. Uh, I specialize in Gerlando, but uh, I can play Tornado. Bonzini, not, I'm not super good. But I would say that my favorite table is the uh, Gerlando one. So um, later in my house, I'm going to have a, a foosball table for sure. For sure. Okay, that being said, let's play Mr. Mech Basketball. <coughs> All right, make basketball. Let's do it. Good luck to you, sir. Oh, you're the Dutch guy. You are the Dutch guy. Did you prepare something this time? 
What do you have for me to make basketball? Okay, I'm gonna go here. He prepped this for sure. There's no way he didn't prep this. He's playing with such confidence. Arrives late on stream, challenges me, and is totally ready to go. G5, whoa. Whoa, G5, okay. Uh, this is kind of aggressive. So I'm gonna go here. And you're gonna go G4, I guess. But then G4, Queen F4, Bishop D6, Queen H6. This is kind of messy. So do I want my queen on H6 or do I want my queen on E2? That's the real question here. I really don't know what to do. Um, huh. Knight here. Okay. So he doesn't play. Um, he doesn't play G4 like I expected him to. Let's play H3 or H4. So I don't think I'm ever worried about uh, G4 because I can always go to E2 and just reroute this knight over here. I haven't castled yet. I'm probably going to castle queenside anyways. Um, I feel that it's going to be a good game. I love the fact that he uh, spent some time to prep against me. H5, okay. Now I'm going to go here. Is he going to try to uh, undouble his pawns or something? He's playing a good game so far. He's playing a good game so far. So knight here, he definitely wants f4. So queen d2. Oh, he can still go f4. Takes, 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 bishop h6. No, no, my bad, my bad. f4, I got take here. So I can play knight d2 and g3 and just close the whole thing and uh, push c4. Whoa, what is this? No, this is a blunder. Why did he? No, I don't like to win like this. Oh, man. He played such a good game so far. But losing this pawn is uh, really terrible. He can't, he can't afford to lose this pawn. Once he loses his pawn, the whole position crumbles. He has no counterplay whatsoever. So it's very unfortunate, but I think he uh, dropped an important pawn here. GG yo, says Omid. Yeah, I think it's GG yo. So queen c6 doesn't do anything at all other than being cute and wanting to play here and bishop takes here so i'm just gonna go here and then queen b6 i'm gonna have to deal with that um a lot of options maybe just knight a4 uh knight a4 queen c6 maybe just king a1 and then if he plays queen a5, I can just offer a queen trade. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm just going to offer a queen trade here. So if he takes, I take with the rook. And then I'm just going to convert this uh, this endgame. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go rook here. c6, I'm going to go back. Queen a5, I'm going to go back to b1. Yeah. So I'm going to go back here. Queen a5, I'm going to go back here. A lot of maneuvering, but uh, all I'm trying to do here is to trade queens. Omen ask, when is Olivier or Maroon coming back on stream? Well, they are always welcome. Um, they are always welcome to be on stream. So no timeline, but they know what to do if they want to come back on stream. Okay, now he's being a little annoying. Uh, I don't like what he's doing here. Uh, can I just play d3 and king d2? Yeah, let's just do that. d3, king d2, and then maybe c4. Yeah, so everything is protected here. Everything is good. Uh, c4 might be coming. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. King here. Um, okay. Let's drop the knight back. I don't want to take any risk here. 
I guess C4 makes some sense. I'm just trying to trade some pieces here. Takes, takes. Uh, if he takes, I think, with the rook. If he goes knight here, uh, I can either play E4, although it might be a weakening move. So can I go knight C3? I guess so. So if he takes, I just take. Oh, queen D6 could be annoying. Queen D6 could be annoying. I didn't see that. Do I have V4? No, I don't have V4. Oh, I'm uh, making some inaccuracies today. Not playing my best chess today. Guys, it's really your chance. If you want to beat me, just, uh, just get into some complicated positions. Uh, okay, can I safely go here? I hope so. And then the knight goes to c5. That's the plan. So b5 looks strong, but I think it creates a lot of weaknesses around this square. So knight here, not threatening anything, or at least I hope so. So knight here. And then the knight is going to uh, c5. And I hope that it's going to be uh, good. Okay, uh, queen here. I have to deal with this now. So does he have knight a4 check? That would be crazy. That would be completely crazy. Uh, so here, oh my god, to be careful here. A 94 check takes queen check, king c3. I think I'm safe. <laughs> I think I'm safe. And next move, I'm playing here. So 94 check takes check king here, and then my king comes back to d2. Um, so let's see. Also threatening to take this. Allowing this attack was completely uh, not necessary, but uh, you know what? Just more uh, entertaining like this. Okay, Rook here, I'm happy to see that. It doesn't do much. Uh, can I? No, I can't. Uh, what do I want to do here? Yeah, let's just play it safe. Let's go here and play rook a1 if he threats, he threats this. Queen here. Now let's go knight c5. Takes, takes. This is still guarded. And my knight is also guarding a4, which is really important. So he doesn't have those tactics. And then I can safely move my knight. So he has to move his knight. Okay. I'm always going to be uh, trading here. I uh, have to be careful about check, about this pawn. So let's go here. Check. Let's go here. Rook here defends this. It's a very defensive game. Uh, okay, just uh, rook here, I guess. Um, okay, c6. a4. Just want to create some counterplay here. Take this guy. Queen c5. Takes, I got check and mate. Take this guy. And GG make basketball. It was probably one of your best game against me. So uh, good to uh, good to play you. Bozo the clown is asking, what is it to be known worldwide for Bishop H six? I don't know if I'm uh, really uh, known uh, worldwide. Some people know about it, like uh, like Carlson, but that doesn't mean that worldwide. People know about it. I need to uh, do it more often, I guess. People, feel free to challenge. I have a lot of a uh, lot of spots left. Feel free to uh, to challenge me. Let's uh, get crazy, Mike. Let's give him a let's give him a little rematch here. So, good luck to you, sir. Okay, crazy, Mike. E four. Right here. Uh, let's play c3. 
okay d4 so this is going to be a, a good french for me i guess so it's a french where he took here so usually in the french you don't want to take here because uh i feel that taking out my pieces is too easy for me now i have a very good french let's uh just castle and pressure his uh his backward pawn uh okay let's go here if he takes he's just losing his queen i'm gonna pre-move that in case he wants to lose his queen and if he doesn't okay he doesn't want to lose his queen good job now i'm gonna to have to uh do something about it can i just play here bishop e3 get some compensation do i really want to allow this or do i play knight a4 do i play a3 i don't know what to do um okay let's play bishop c2 knight b4 bishop b1 okay here i go a3 and i'm gonna attack him for sure now now he's gonna get it i'm gonna play b4 play uh yeah b4 knight a4 knight c5 i guess and he's he's gonna try to attack on this side but uh i'm fine with that uh so how do i want to proceed here So I think I'm going to go here. Now I'm going to go here. If he takes, I take. And then he has trouble with his queen. Oh, but he has queen here. But queen here and knight b5. I'm fine. So he, if he takes here, I take here. Isn't he just losing a piece here? I think he's losing a piece here. Unfortunate. Or maybe he's not losing a piece. But to be honest, if he survives this, it's very impressive. The idea is rook c1, and I win the queen. So he has to go king b8. Or maybe bishop a7 with more precise. I'm not sure. Um, do I go bishop d4 here? Do I go fancy? Or do I go... Yeah, I'm just going to go here. I want to keep my pawn. So bishop d4, he had queen c6. Now he's going to have to work to, uh, to to win this pawn. But I'm not sure he's winning this pawn because uh, queen c6, I go bishop here. Uh, this does nothing, so I'm just going to play here. If he takes, I, I go back and I take this pawn. Now it's very unpleasant for him. I have some uh, crazy ideas with uh, queen d4. Yeah, here, I go back here. I take this, and it's pretty much game over. He has to take here, I take here, king here forced, and uh, there should be a mate somewhere. Maybe just uh, bishop c5 takes and rook a8 mate. That should be good. Take here, take here. Okay, queen d4. Now he cannot prevent queen a7 check. Uh, let's uh, cheapo him. Oh, he pre-moved. King here, and it's checkmate. GG, Mr. Crazy Mike. Uh, okay, someone I don't know here is challenging. Let's uh, give him a challenge. All right, good luck to you, sir. D4. D4. I have played this uh, this person before. D4. Let's uh, let's see. Hope you guys are doing well. In the chat, let me know where are you from. I'm just wondering if uh, there are still any brave people watching from uh, from Europe. So I'm gonna play Bishop G5, Chompaski. Uh, he plays this line, so I'm going to play e4, let's say. Threatening to play e5. So h6 is a normal move. Bishop here is a normal move. Okay, let's take here. Knight here. Let's play, uh, let's play normal here. g6, knight c3. e6, bishop d3. G6 castles. Can I play e5? 
He's really tempting me here. Okay, he goes here. No. Rook e1. If he closes a position, I'm just going to go knight g3 and h4, h5 maybe. Let's see what he does. Uh, knight here. Knight here. Maybe knight g3. Susik is asking, how can I play you? Um, well, first of all, you need to be a premium member and then you challenge. And if you want to become a premium member, you can do so by using this promo code over here, Bishop H6, say 15% and become a premium member. And then you can challenge Susik. I would be super honored if you uh, if you became a premium member using my promo code. So takes, takes, and you're gonna skip the line and I guarantee you that we're gonna play today if you become a premium member. I would be super honored. So queen e2, I'm just gonna guard this uh, pawn over here. Takes here, pawn takes. Knight c5, bishop c2 probably. And then maybe h4, h5, try to attack. Maybe b4. Uh, b4, knight, d7, I'm not sure. Okay, let's play h4. Try to uh, weaken his uh, king side. So against h5, I would play knight, g5. Oh, wow. Suo Mino A. I'm from Dublin. Are you a uh, Conor McGregor fan? You have to if you're from Dublin. Okay, first move I don't like. I feel that uh, this is uh, really weak now. How do I exploit this? Um, so I'm gonna play this first. He has to go G5. But then knight g6, I think my knight is solid on, on g6. I'm probably gonna probably gonna play knight g6. From there, I, I protect this, I can play this, I have some ideas. As long as my knight is getting out, I'm fine. Queen c6, okay, threats mate. I see the mate, I see what you're doing. So f3, and then bishop e4 whenever you move the knight. Knight h5 could, could be next as well. Uh, rook here, I'm going to play knight h5. Moving to Netherlands. Oh, that's so cool. That's really cool. b4, bishop e4 might be coming. I want to trade this. Okay, I, I don't like the whole pressure here. So I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to trick him. Look at this, guys. I'm going to play here. And when he takes, I'm going to go check and take here. I think it works. Check. And take here. I think I tricked him. Takes, takes, take this guy. Uh, before I guess. So now I have queen for rook and peace. Queen for rook and peace. Knight d3, queen c3, forks those two. I'm just trying to get in with my queen here. Okay, what's going on here? Queen e3 looks precise. I'm very annoying on the dark squares. Uh, b5, I can play knight, queen d6 probably. Okay, let's play queen here. Now rook here is almost forced. Or rook here drops a piece. And that should be it. GG. GG. Okay, let's get a next game. Did I lose to Jester? I lost to Jester. Jester, you are dead. Jester, let's do it. I think I lost to you before. Susik, no worries. If it's not today, it can be anytime, Susik. 
hang around too sick. We, we never know. If the, if the line is really empty, I might, uh, I might still play you at the end. We'll see, okay? Hang around, keep your challenge on, and we'll see. Jestor, I am so mad at you. You have no idea. Okay, d6. Okay, so it's a, a Banco with a b6 line. I'm trying to play a5 here. If he takes, I go a5. Queen, queen before I go rook a4. Queen here, I go here. With the queen on a7, I have to really to be careful here when I push f4 uh, and castles. Whenever he sacks something, he has c4 check. So this is something to uh, keep in mind. So nine, knight d7, f4. Those two squares are covered, which is pretty nice. And now, uh, rook b8, rook b4 is definitely a plan, although he doesn't threat anything, but it's a nice score for his rook. e6 is covered, I can always take. So that doesn't work for him. Uh, now, oh, now he's trying to do it. So he might play e6 here. Knight f8, uh, can I play e5? I think I can play e5 here. Maybe it's an inaccuracy to play knight here. Let me play e5 and bishop f4. Knight here, bishop f4. Knight here, bishop f4. Uh, okay, let's just play here. Uh, bishop here, I go queen here. And next move, I go h3. And this is a big issue for him. Because when I go h3 and he has to go knight here and I play g4, his whole, whole setup is kind of suspicious because he has to go back a lot. Maybe knight d7 was, was better. Now, now the problem is that no matter what he does, h3 is uh, coming next. Even if he plays knight d7, I have three pieces guarding e5. So I'm just going to go h3. Rook d8 does nothing. So I'm just going to go here. And then I'm just going to drive all his pieces away. Sure, he could take, but I'm not really worried about that. I think he has to play bishop c8. And um, I mean, I could I could play this and just win a piece right here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that here. It's uh, too good not to uh, not to play. So I think just uh, queen e three here, forcing him to sack knight versus two pawns, and I should be good here. Uh, takes, do I take here or take here? Take here, take here, take here. Oh, I'll just take here, I guess. Uh, queen e2. <laughs> Burns said, uh, I'm going to get up to 29.87 and lose 20 points. You are right. Never going to hit 3,000. That could be cool, though, to hit it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you serious? Are you really allowed to do this? Check. E6. Knight G5. Whoa, really? Really? You are playing with fire, my friend. E6 forced? Whoa. Unbelievable. Uh, where is my mate? Where is my mate? Okay, let's go here. Now check. And I got to check here, which is really annoying. Now tactics are flowing. He has to go king here. And where is my mate? Is there a mate, guys? Where's my mate? Red line. Check. 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 Um, do I have a mate? <laughs> it's really annoying that I don't have a mate. Okay, let's just win two rooks. And that should be game. Jastor, I got my revenge. 
G G my friend, but unfortunately losing one game to Jazz Tour is minus 29 and winning one game is one point. So for every game I lose, I need to win 29 game against him. Okay, we got a next challenge, Mr. Hans. Hans, let's do it. All right. Good luck, sir. Have I played this guy? No, never. Okay, let's play Sicilian. If he doesn't know how I play yet. Okay, C3 Sicilian, very interesting. Uh, no, knight C6. Takes, bishop C4, knight B6. Here, I just played B6. Just playing the normal line here. Now, bishop C4 is the main line, I think. Bishop C4, knight B6, bishop B5. Or bishop C4, knight B6, bishop B3. Let's go here. Bishop b3. I think he's sacking a pawn here, if I can remember correctly. Takes d5. Oh, he goes here. Now, can I just play this? This should be okay for me. I don't see any, any problems. Uh, knight c3. Is he trying to go... Knight here. Okay, let's just play here. Um, let's see. Do I really want to take it? Takes, takes, takes here, takes here. Ah. Um, what do I play? Takes, takes, takes here, takes here. Rook b8. Okay, I'm gonna play bishop h5. Let's see what happens. Okay, g4, bishop g6. And then I think I'm going to go bishop b4 next. The, the main thing about this position, guys, is that uh, I have to find a way to synchronize all my pieces in a nice way. I have to be careful about uh, my, my queen side over here. Castles. I, I, I might take this, though. I might take this because uh, I feel that in this position... The pawn here will be so weak that uh, I can justify giving the bishop pair. So I think I can go rook c8. Knight here, I'm just going to let him take me like this. And I think this pawn will be super weak. Knight b5 is coming. Bishop f3 could be annoying though. Yeah, bishop f3 is a little bit annoying. So I'm going to have to play here. And uh, maybe just play rook c7 and rook d7. So I'm, I'm obviously going to decline the, the rook trade. I'm going to pressure this pawn now. Make sure he doesn't push uh, push the pawn over here. So now I'm going to do a very nice maneuver. I'm going to play bishop d3, followed by bishop c4, and bishop d5. And what I'm trying to do here is to trade the light square's bishop and fight with my lone knight against this. Well, well is this a pawn? Mm, no. Okay, I'm going to play here. And just uh, just chill. Just chill. So I'm, I'm going to take the bishop, put my knight to uh, to d5. Or play h6 first. Yeah, I'm going to play h6. Rook here. Now maybe g5 or king h7. Or just rook here. I guess rook here makes sense. Okay. Um... Now, can I just approach? Yeah, I guess I can approach. So the, the point of h6 was to bring the king to e7, so he doesn't have bishop g5 check. Okay, so I go here. Check, I go here, and hopefully I don't get made it. Oh, rook g8, oh man. No, rook g8. Okay, he didn't see it. Uh, let's go here. Okay, that's good for me now. Okay, now let's go here. Now I'm slowly driving him away. I'm going to play b6 and rook c8. Or even rook c8 right away. 
Rook seed right away. No, I'm going to play b6 first. Okay, now I'm going to go rook c8. And I think my king will be way more active than his. So let's see. Uh, king here. King here. F4. Can, can we create anything here? Uh, okay, let's play. Oh, g6, he has h5, which is a bit annoying. So is it a race here? a5. a4. f6, I can take it. g5, I take. And now g6, I'm going to create a little wall. Okay, I can take this. Man, this is messy. I don't know if I can win this. Um, wait a sec. What's going on here? I have to drive his king away from this square. So did I play here? I think this makes sense. If I get my king to d5, it's not bad. So he goes here. Now do I have this? Wait a sec. Do I have this? b4 takes a3. And I win. Yes, I win. I have before. It's uh, really good that I have before. Takes a3. And I just win. All right. GG. So someone is asking me, I don't know how to challenge. So someone is asking me, I don't know how to challenge. So um, the person who's watching this stream and doesn't figure, and doesn't know how to challenge, you need to go into the chess24.com. Uh, so don't go into the stream, go into chess24.com and you have to go into the play zone and challenge someone. And my name is The Magnet. You have to find the username The Magnet and challenge me. It is not through the stream that you challenge me, but through the, ch the website chess24.com. The stream is either on Twitch, Chess24, or YouTube, but uh, it is a very different location to, um, to look for when you challenge me. So chess24.com, create an account, and just uh, find my username and challenge me. So uh, just to answer this question of that person who is asking me. Uh, so best of luck. I hope you'll be able to, uh, to challenge. Um, let's give a game to, uh, you know what, Susik, you have been patient. I'll be nice to you. Susik, good luck to you. All right. All right. I, uh, I appreciate people who are patient. All right, Susik, you, clearly deserve a game so let's do it all right so is it gonna be grunfeld okay okay grunfeld that's good and susik playing fast so i'm gonna play my pet line which is a knight f3 and rook b1 line i think i had a, a good game earlier uh i think it was a game which i drew against uh, 2600 if my memory is good so d5 main line i'm gonna go here knight e5 and bishop c3 checks are the two main moves bishop c3 i just sack a pawn uh, here, I remember that I have to play queen d2, and it's a really weird move to make because normally you play bishop b2, but in this line, I'm trying to go uh, all in here with uh, c4 and bishop b2. So bishop c7 is the main move. Bishop g7 is a side line. I remember that this is good. Uh, bishop here, I'm not sure it's a good move. Um, I'm going to have to punish it, but uh, let me figure out how. I think it's c4 and bishop b2 if my memory is good. So the point of uh, bishop c7 is that I couldn't go c4 because of bishop a5. But now I think unless he has a direct way to attack my center, I think this is pretty good for me now. Uh, bishop f5, I go rook b3, which should be okay. And my concern here is just to uh, get my, uh, my king to safety. Burns 420 is rooting for Susik. Yeah, you, you should. You should be rooting for Susik. Uh, okay, now I think my, my king just goes to safety. And I'm really happy about this position. Bishop b7, I'll just go bishop f3. And I really like my uh, 
my center pawn here. Okay, so bishop b7, bishop f3. And now, up on time, everything is good. So whenever I have this center and there is no direct way to break it, usually it is really good for me. Uh, queen here, I think queen f5 is coming. But if I play bishop b2, queen f5, g4, the queen has to go back. Is it too risky? I think it should be okay. So bishop b2, uh, queen f5, g4, and then... Uh, Queen d7. Okay, here, I guess I'll just go here. That's fine. Queen f5, g4. Queen b5, I think it's fine. I can play d6. I'm just uh, trying to roll my pawns here. Just trying to roll my pawns. So queen b5, not too worried about that. b5, okay. b5, I'm really not too worried about that. So now what I'm trying to do, guys, is when I push one pawn, I want to have control of the other square. So I feel if I push this one, takes, takes, I feel that there's a bl big blockade. Is f6 possible afterwards? f6, I'm, I'm going to be able to guard this. Uh, maybe queen a5? Queen a5 could be annoying. But I, I'm not sure if I'm going in the right direction here. But uh, let's go fishing. Let's go queen a5, just to see what uh, my opponent has in mind. Because it's also tough to defend everything here. And I've been talking a lot. And uh, usually I play much faster. So I'm going to have to be careful about my, my time over here. I have a, might have a time issue. But as long as I keep a little edge on the clock, I'm always confident. So a6, queen b6 probably just to try to make, uh, make her push c4. I assume c6 is a girl based on the picture. So uh, c4 and then maybe just... Uh, d6 and try to roll my pawns and with my queen here maybe it's easier to uh to roll my pawns so let's do what i say um she looks strong yeah she is strong she's she's playing really good so far whoa okay okay this is crazy uh this is crazy guys can i go f5 yeah so i'm taking advantage of the did i just give oh my god i just gave something uh but fortunately i think i have a cute tactics I have this. No, it's not cute at all. It doesn't work. It's not cute at all. There's queen e7. There's queen e7. I didn't see it. Okay, so I'm going to have to go into flag mode. I'm going to have to go into flag mode. So let's go here. Let's go here. F6. Check. Over here. If she takes, she's dead. There's a back rank mate. Okay, let's go here. Uh, let's go here, check. So again, I'm just trying to flag here. Um, C2, I can take here, check. Take here, go here. Oh, it's really unfortunate that I have to win like this. I don't really feel good about it, but hey, it's part of life. GG, Susik, you really played well. Wow, that was a really good game. So I think the turning point was uh, when I made the mistake of... Um, I was convinced G5 was a blunder, uh, but G5 was actually good. So so I thought F5 was completely winning because I obviously missed that uh, she could take here. But uh, against G5, probably I have to go something like G3 here. If I'm crazy, maybe E6, uh, but let's say G3 to keep things under control. Um, no, it, it was really good. It was really, really good. Um, so GG, uh, Susik, nice, uh, nice playing with you. Uh, okay. P Bergera, a quick one, quick one with you. All right. Uh, what do I play against you? Uh, let's go nine F3. Let's just, uh, let's just chill. Knight F3. Okay, let's go here. Bishop g2. Just a castle. It's going to be a very slow game. But it's a 3-0, so it's fine. Okay. 
Okay, let's go knight c3. And just uh, a3, b4. All good. No, uh, no bishop to uh, be worried about. b4. Takes, takes b5. Very entertaining game so far. So, um, yeah, b5 is the best move, I guess. Otherwise, I just push b5 myself. Oh, now I push b5. And I think I like my game now. I take with the knight, and this pawn might be a, might be a problem. So, d5, bishop, f4. 95, huh, interesting choice. Uh, now, he gets double pawns. And I have to make sure that um, it will stay doubled. I don't want him to push e4. So I'm going to play queen b3. Take back here. Threat this. And this is an issue. Yeah, now it's just a free pawn. And my bishop is a monster on this diagonal, unfortunately. <coughs> so queen e5. uh over here i guess i'm gonna try to trade bishops but the problem is that bishop e3 runs into knight g4 how do i want to play this i want to play e3 as well so okay you know what i'm just gonna suffer for uh for two moves so i'm, I'm gonna allow bishop d4 queen c2 but then i'm gonna uh, push it back with e3 and d4 so the issue was my queen i just want to get my queen to safety and um it should be good should be good. Um, I mean, if he doesn't play there, yeah, now I have bishop b2 with running mate, and d4 should be really strong in this position. Uh, if I first move like f6, okay, I, e5, I guess e3. Oh, another another line could have been like just uh, bishop d5 check and e4, uh, but I think everything is good here. I can just take here, pawn takes, uh, bishop here, maybe queen f3, just to put the queen on a nice diagonal, support the bishop. Um, everything is good here. Uh, rook e1, I can also trade pieces, which is not bad for me. Uh, okay, let's get the king to safety over here. King g2. Uh, no risk whatsoever. And now I can maybe trade rooks or rook c1. Everything looks good. Uh, what about this move here? This is a cute little move. Uh, takes control of this. Can I can put my bishop here. What does he want here with the knight? It doesn't do much, right? Um, okay, let's put this here. Let's put this here. And then I can try to push a pawn. Um, rook e6 looks good. I'm, I'm going to try to uh, trade queens. Bishop b4 played. I guess uh, queen here makes sense. Just trying to trade queens. Yeah, take here. And then uh, my pawns are rolling. Uh, okay, how are my pawns rolling? No, just here. Okay, this is another pawn. And then I'm going to try to take control of the uh, seventh rank. So rook here, c5, bishop d3. I got some tactics here. Or I can just push this all the way. Uh, over here, I guess d5. So this is this is pinned. I got the bishop attacking f6. So just h4. Oh, Rad Mike, what's up? Ellis, Ellis is saying uh, is saying hello. Ellis is one of those uh, guys on uh, on YouTube who didn't figure out how to follow me on Twitch or on Chess24. Well, Rad Mike. Uh, if you want to play some games, I don't know if it's too late today, but uh, it would be great to play against you at some point. Uh, knight here. What's going on here? I can just take this and play h6. And uh, I guess uh, it's uh, game over very soon. Uh, okay, let's let's go here. He's really in prison here. c6. There's really nothing he can do. Uh, it's really uh, it's really a sad position. And d7, d8. 
Checkmate. GG. Wasn't that made a, a few moves ago? Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, let's finish the stream with a fan of mine. Not a premium member, but uh, I'm feeling generous today. So good luck to you. As black, I'm gonna try to finish strong. I had a very bad start today. Try to not blunder anything and play my, uh, my pet line over here. Is it gonna be C4, Knight C3? Okay, Knight C3. So we got an accelerated dragon, H3, huh? H3, wait a sec, what's going on after H3? And then bishop, bishop, bishop c4, queen a5, we got some tricks. We'll see what's going on. Okay, knight here, I'm just gonna play d6, bishop e6. Okay, so we got a classical dragon here, except normally um, this move is not played. Can I, can I just go here or maybe a6? Uh, f5, bishop d7. Yeah, bishop d7, and I remember that I have to go knight e5. And in this line, a very cool trick for black. I don't know if uh, my opponent will allow me to do it. We'll see. I'm, I'm praying for uh, may maybe g4 here. Uh, takes here. Can I play the trick now? You know what? Are we here? We're here to have fun. Let's, uh, let's have some fun. It might not work, but let's have some fun. Takes here, take here, take here. So I have a very interesting exchange sack here, and I also win this pawn. So I get two pawns for an exchange, which is uh, which is fine. I hope I'm not getting mated. Uh, so I think I can also get this over here. Now I'm threatening to go here or go here. So it takes here, I have to take back. Uh, goes here. I think I have bishop b5 here, and then I win another another piece here. So now I am at a lot of material, actually. I'm up a few pawns. So queen here now. Okay, after winning everything, I think it's time to start playing safe here. So bishop g7 makes sense. Now I'm gonna get attacked. Now I have a very mad opponent who's going to come at me with everything. So here, rook e8, um, f6, I'm just going to take it. Rook here, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, queen here, whoa, wants to take here. Uh, what's going on here? Queen here, whoa. Okay, uh, let's calm down and try to figure out something. Do I play bishop d4 check or do I play f6? f6 looks so weak. No, I can't play this. Okay, let's go here. Now I'm dropping this, dropping this. Okay, very good, very good. Now I am still up one pawn, still up one pawn, threatening, threatening this. This is not fun. So let's go over here and C2 is attacked. So C2 is attacked. Okay, goes here. Now, can I just take this and not get made it i hope so i hope so okay takes here now can i still take this pawn or is it dangerous wait a sec take care f6 um man this is really getting messy here okay let's take here F6 might be annoying. We'll see. So I'm up a pawn, but uh, things are not uh, things are not easy here. So F6 here. And now rook somewhere threats mate. So I can go here. And now I'm almost made it. Almost made it. But I have to play very precise here. You gotta play good good defense. Um so I'm gonna have to go queen e6 very soon. Maybe next move or something. Rook e1, not possible. Um, okay, I have to play here. Okay, I have to play here. Takes, I'm gonna have to take like this. 
this is attacked. Whoa, this is a pawn here. Okay, now how do I how do I grind this? Uh, okay, let's play e5. Let's go here. Okay, so rook endgame, which looks pretty good here. Okay, check. Uh, rook check again. Let's play here. Check. H5. Uh, check. Check. H4. G5. Uh, let's go here. Check. Over here. Now King E3. And checkmate. Whoa, that was really close. That was really close. Uh, whoa. That was a super good game, actually. Um, I think in the middle game, I, I definitely had a better opening. And here, I'm probably better. But I, I screwed up here. I, I don't know what happened. I probably have a more precise move. Maybe, maybe Bishop F6. But after I played this, I'm not sure. that This is really messy here. Uh, instead of taking it, I don't know about this. Over here, go here, Bishop here. I have to play rook somewhere. Rook e1. I'm really close to getting mated. I have to play something like queen c6. I am up a pond, but things are really messy. I don't know rook d1. Um, oh man, really, really great game by, by white. Um, even at the end here. Uh, yeah, that was a really big blunder. So maybe maybe bishop bishop here. I have to play rook here, rook here, but then but then I, I feel I should be fine. I have at least like just pushed a pawn, forced the rook to take this pawn, and I take this pawn and I'm pressing pressing for a win. But uh wow, that was a really, really good game. Man, um it's already the end of the show. So guys, thank you so much for watching. My next banter will be um Friday at 1:15 p.m. in French, en français, uh for all those uh French people living in France at 7 p.m. beginning of the Friday evening. So uh, that's the next stream. And then I'm heading to New York for the weekend. I'm going to try to run a banter there, but uh, no promises. No promises. So New York this weekend and then back in Montreal next week. And uh, if, uh, if the next banter is not in New York, it should be either on Monday or on Tuesday at the latest in English. Guys, Thank you so much for watching and see you very soon. Good night.